Hello, my name's Tragic O'Hara and today I'm going to be making a one string diddly bow. The one string diddly bow is apparently where Bow Diddly gets his name. And the first time I seen anyone use it was C6 Steve, but then in the film it might get loud with The Edge, Jack White and Jimmy Page. Jack White makes one on like his porch. <laughs> says you need to buy a guitar. Thing, and that's where I first seen like how someone made one. Since then I've been like, I'm going to, I want to make a one string diddly bow. So, I'm going to, I'm going to make one. <laughs> and my plan is not to like buy anything, right? Because the spirit of the one string diddly bow and stuff like that is, these are the instruments that people use in the Delta. Like, I love blues music, so like Mississippi John Hart, eh, Sun House, Skip James, Robert Johnson, Sister Rosetta Tharp, like, I love all that, all that stuff. The diddly bow was a traditional instrument used then. It was seen as like a kid's instrument, it was like a starter, but then so was the harmonica. The harmonica originally was a, a substitute for a saxophone because saxophones cost, well, they were expensive, but a harmonica was like a child's toy, and eventually it turned into this instrument, but it was through eh, necessity. It was through people wanting to play music, like, so I, I, I'm just using stuff that I've found, so I've brought some old kind of rum bottles, whiskey, beer, not that I drink a lot, and stuff I've found, so like an old guitar string I found in my toolbox, in the garage, old hooks, a pack of screws from something I was supposed to hang up in the house, but I've no idea what it was, a tin of beans, but I hate beans, so, <laughs> I cleaned this out and it gave me the proper dry heave. Man, I'm not into beans in the slightest. So I've got all that stuff, but I've also got, my hands all wet from the beans. I've got this here, which is a shower speaker that my next door neighbor gave me. I seen a thing on YouTube, if I, if I was to reverse the polarity, I think on this speaker, it would make it a microphone. I could then attach a guitar jack to it and it would, um, I'd be able to electrify this, so. But the one thing I'm missing is a bit of wood, so I'm gonna go searching for a bit of wood at some point. But I've got, I haven't bought anything, so. Sorted. That's the plan. So what I done was I put a screw at the top. I had to tie my hair back because I couldn't see what I was doing. Then I put the can down and marked where I should put two other screws to hold it in place. Took the guitar string and looked it through the little nut at the end of it so that I could attach it to the screw. Pull it over the top, put another screw at the other end and attach the, the guitar string to that, just tied it in a knot. Then took the beer bottle and slid it into place, put another two screws in so that didn't slip forward and then I was playing it. Use the can because the can is the thing that helps it amplify a bit. So like, I was thinking I could maybe make like a whammy type thing for it. I mean it's okay, like it's okay. I wasn't expecting it to be the most impressive thing in the world. But I'm going to make another one. Like I've, I've got more stuff, so I think I'm going to just make another one. I've, I found a big bit of wood. I found a bigger bit of wood. Uh, and I'm going to try it again with different things and see what it sounds like. Uh, I'm going to try it with different things. I'm going to try it with a spray can and see what that sounds like. And maybe try and find something a bit lower for the bridge. Maybe use one of the rum bottles, I don't know, something just to see what happens, just to try something different. So I'm going to go do that now. There's no, not going to be any harm in having two of these things, I don't think. So I'm going to go do that now. So these two screws here are going to hold that bottle in place. Um, it's quite high though. I don't know if I've got it, but I might use a spray can. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'll use a spray can because it will be lower down. <laughs> Right, what if I was to add in the bottle? 
So if you tighten the screw, it changes the knot. <laughs> it's like a tuning peg. Try the small coffee jar first. Cool man, right. Now we're getting somewhere. So found this old guitar lead in one of my boxes, right? And if I opened it up, you can see, right, there, it's disconnected. That's why it's been, why it's been crackling and stuff. So I'm gonna rip this open and see what's inside it. And then maybe try and wire up that speaker, like. So it had been glued the whole way around. So I just had to get my screwdriver underneath it. But there's like a wee rechargeable battery, so I'll keep that. <laughs> and a suction cup. Because you never know. Like if I cut this open, I don't know what's inside this. Like I've never really soldered guitar parts and stuff, but... Nothing. <laughs> so there's two. Right, okay, so there's a black cable and there's a like a copper cable if I twist. I'm going to need to learn to solder. I'm terrible. I remember trying to solder guitars when I was like a, a teenager and not having a clue what I was doing. See as a teenager I never had the patience for stuff like this. Like I just wanted it to work. See now that I'm a, <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm a grown up. <laughs> Do I get this off then? I'm gonna keep it like that. Woohoo! Right, so I've got two cables now. I've got the one inside the black wire and the other one. So, right, so if I look at the speaker, the black one's on that side, the negative side. So I think you do it the other way around. I think, I think, and then that would be, right, I'm just gonna try it. What's the worst that can happen? I'm not gonna. It has the electricity in it, but it's not like... And it's like he plug... But he plugs a guitar into a wall, like that's what he does. Please join me for the first time to hear how it sounds. And one, two, three, four... Like, I know it's a joke and all that, right? But that... I couldn't get that out of my head, like... <laughs> oh well. Right, so I've got my speaker, I've got my soldering iron, there is two pins here, two wee bits. I have no idea if this is going to work. I hope it does, because it'd be cool if it did work. If it doesn't, I don't know what I'm doing. And I've got my two things, two bits of cable here. I don't know if I need to wire it backwards or, or what I need to do. The solder is... Ah, your mother f Straight away, I burnt myself! So that I'm going to take this off first. How <laughs> quickly did that calm down? <laughs> The solder is... Ah, your mother f Straight away, I burnt myself! So that I'm going to take this... <laughs> I was so angry! And then I just properly calmed back down. Oh my god! I, burnt, I remember I burnt myself pretty badly. See, when I was... A kid. Like when I was a teenager. Proper... Proper burnt myself one time. An absolute topper. I'm going to very gently take this over to the, to the, the guitar amp and see what happens. <gasps> hello, hello. Oh my god, it works! I nearly shot myself a little bit. Hello, hey! I can't believe it works! <laughs> I actually can't. Like it worked, nothing ever works for me. <laughs> but that worked, <laughs> oh my god. Right, hold on, let's see what time it is. 
Oh, I'm well, I'm, I'm well tripped, I'm setting this up man, this is happening, right, okay. Part of the problem I've got, I think, is, I think it'll need to be pretty high and close to the string to hear it. So I'm going to find something I can maybe screw in underneath the string. I can then glue the speaker on top of it, like a pickup, uh, and I might, have, I might have worked this. Right, okay, so I'm going to go and have a look and see what I can find. I use this for painting. I'm going to saw this in half and then just screw a big massive screw through the other side and then hopefully that will be close enough to the to the bridge. Mud. Couple of screws. Oh no! Mother! Right. Glue. Where did I put it? Not particularly fussed if it's like messy. This why not works. And see if it works. I'll make a better one. I'm going to plug this in and we're going to put a wee bit, wee bit again. And we'll see how we get on. <laughs> Proper, like happy with that. Like I know it looks like a bag of monkeys. It is not the prettiest thing in the world. But you know what? Like I got it working. Like it, I actually keep th and, uh, electronic stuff gives me the fear. I've said in plenty of these videos that I want to make a guitar pedal, and that's gave me enough of that I can actually solder a wire to another wire and make it work. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to figure out how to get uh, the top off a bottle so I can use it properly with a slide instead of using a big thing like that but I am all over making instruments now like that is, that's me, I am, I am properly <laughs> I am properly going to make some mad stuff man Last night I spent a bit of time looking at videos I basically take the top off a wine bottle so I couldn't use it as a guitar slide So there was one where they were taking a bit of string and they were dipping it into kerosene and then wrapping it around the wine bottle and setting it in fire and then dropping it in the cold water and it was just snapping off but I don't have any string and it needs to be like natural fibres I suppose like hemp string or whatever because the synthetic stuff will just melt so it has to be a certain type and I don't have that so what I done was I uh, so what I done was I scored the top I was scoring the top of it and then I got a phone call for the bank uh, to let me know I had no money which was good of them after that, boiled the kettle put the water in sat the bottle inside it tried it with a like a whiskey bottle first uh, and then put it into the put it into the, the cold water but because I couldn't score it properly like I've got a tile cutter thing like in the house but I've not got it here when am I ever going to use that? you know what I mean? like so <laughs> obviously now and that didn't work so I tried it with a different bottle and that didn't work. I got a Dremel. I've got a Dremel. So I thought I'd just cut. I'll just cut the top off. Like I'll just do that. Safety first. Booyah! And then I sanded it. And then I sanded the top. And this is what it looks like. I mean, it looks horrific. Like, like that's a really horrible cut and stuff. But I mean, it works. <laughs> Right, so my advice would be, I don't know if it's because of how thick this is, like wine bottles are thinner, but my advice would be if you are wanting to make your own slide, maybe do the kerosene thing, because that looked as if it worked a lot better, and use a wine bottle. Don't use a rum bottle or a whiskey bottle, because that doesn't seem to work particularly well. That's it, that was my one string diddly bow adventure. I think I'm going to try and record a song with it. I'm going to get back into building cigar box guitars and stuff again because I really enjoyed that like because it doesn't matter to me it doesn't matter how they look they're not supposed to look pretty they're just supposed to be like raw kind of rugged things thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it please consider subscribing to my channel you can get me on Instagram Facebook and Twitter at Mr Tragic O'Hara and next time <laughs>